Good morning, YouTube. Uh, today is June 28th, 2020, and uh, I wanted to, you know, make a video regarding uh, something that came across uh, last night. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's an interesting video. It's a uh, a video about this uh, pastor uh, named Dana Cornerstone, um, where he shares a vision. Um, a couple of visions that he had starting back maybe December uh, December 29 2019 I'm sorry of uh, this last year and uh, some warnings that he believed that are now uh, relevant and uh, related to what's going on now with the uh, COVID-19 outbreak and with the um, with the civil with the civil unrest that's going on um, so we do know that God speaks to us in uh, visions um, and in no way that I'm saying that I am a prophet or, you know, that I have access to God that, you know, others don't or whatever, you know, the case may be. I'm just simply trying to get a message out and, uh, trying to share the visions that I've had that, uh, that others have had and, uh, just, um, you know, a message to kind of prepare people of, of what's to come. Um, personally, in my opinion... I don't feel like uh, we are going to uh, uh, recuperate from uh, what's going on. Um, I think this is Babylon's end. Again, that's my understanding. That's what I feel. Um, you know, I, I I just don't don't see it. Um, you know, but anyway, regarding uh, Dana covers uh, corner. I'm sorry. <laughs> I want to get his name right. His name is uh, Dana Coverstone. That's his name. And I will be posting the link. Uh, pretty much he dreamt of a you know, calendar being shown to him. And uh, he, what stood out to me in the video was he dreamt about, specifically about vultures hovering over the land. Um, and, uh, you know, later on in the vision the way they would grow to be about 10 to 15 feet tall and uh, start pecking people and um, I found this really interesting I, I found this really interesting and it stood out to me because um, I too had a vision of vultures and uh, it's actually in my video playlist uh, from six months ago um, it's a uh, spiritual warfare attack it's in my playlist you can uh, search back the old video Spiritual warfare attack dreams, um, vultures landing or something like that, and warning from God. But uh, it definitely is in my playlist. Um, I definitely had a vision regarding uh, vultures um, around December. I think the, the upload date was December 23rd, 2019, something like that. Um, but it is there in my playlist. You can go back and watch it. Uh, a little bit more than halfway through the video that's where I start speaking about the uh, the vultures landing at the time I had no idea what the, what the vultures were um, I suspected something I suspected it was you know disease or, or or something to that effect because you know vultures tend to land where uh, you know where there are corpses and where people die so um, definitely a warning from the Most High God, God Almighty, the God of Israel, the God of Abraham, and Jacob, who is faithful to his people, and those who take refuge in him will be sheltered in, you know, in the shadow of his wings, and will be kept safe, and, uh, you just need to trust in him. Um, so yeah, so, um, I think that's how our, our visions, uh, correlate, you know, uh, specifically because he... I believe he said that he had those those visions back in December, so we received the visions around the same time, um, and I think that it's very pertinent to what's uh, going on and to what's coming. And I really heed you to uh, watch his video. His video um, is rather interesting, and uh, I believe it's it's definitely a must watch because. Um, you know, he was shown a few months, and you know, I'm just summarizing it real quick. I don't, you know, I don't want to spoil the video for you guys, but you guys should watch it. 
uh, pretty much he was flipping through a calendar and some months were highlighted um, you know and stood out and then uh, pretty much there's there's a big warning for November and it is uh, catastrophic and um, yeah it's it's something major humongous life-changing for every single individual um, in November and uh, as I mentioned in some other videos I've been wondering when the nuclear war will come uh, when you know the Russian and the Chinese soldiers would invade the streets and, uh, and pretty much we'd be fighting for our lives um, so you know me and my wife have been trying to get prepared um, I've been you know talking to my wife and uh, thinking about buying some food some canned food and some goods and uh, just stuff to prepare in advance um, so yeah no, November isn't far away so let's just be a warning video to uh, to others um, because um, we, we don't know what day um, and again my message from other videos I don't want to be a date setter um, but this is um, this would line up with some you know events that's going on right now in my life and uh, just a timeline period that I believe that God has given me um, so for him to say November it's not too far fetched it's close to Christmas we've heard uh, other people say uh, you know about nukes going off around Christmas time uh, you know around November is when people start putting up their Christmas lights and start, start getting in that Christmas uh, spirit so um, you know it's not too not too far off from Christmas itself um, but yes uh, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna again I'm gonna leave the link and um, and also one more thing I, I, I've been having these quick visions of like water and you know I, I know that in the past the Lord has shown me where um, there's water there's just uh, like a chaos like a conflict uh, some, something arises where um, where it's just um, it, it's depending on the context of the water a lot of the times it's not not very good um, especially when water is like bursting through and you know it just you get a chaotic feeling from it it's not good um, so I, I think the Lord is just trying to you know uh, keep me on my toes and trying to warn me and um, for the sake of you know my family and myself uh, to keep us safe but uh, yeah it's been it's been about a month since I made a video um, but I will try to get back on making uh, consistent videos as long as the Lord blesses me to do so and as long as he keeps revealing to me and uh, showing me these visions but anyway I want to end this video um, with uh, prayer uh, for you and for your loved ones and uh, I know that nothing is impossible with God that we can literally pray for anything and if we have faith and if we believe that it will come to pass and I want to ask um, for prayer for healing for my uncle if it is not a uh, too much bother on uh, my viewers or um, I guess uh, just the other day we received news that he uh, has two months to live and uh, He's suffering from cancer and I believe some other health issues and um, you know my my cousins are not too um, I mean his he has he has quite a few daughters and you know they not taking the news very well I mean who would but um, I know the Lord can do anything Lord God is mighty powerful creator of heaven and earth um, and there's nothing too hard for him for him to do. Um, so, yeah, my uncle's name is uh, Luis, and uh, I pray that he is uh, recovered. I hope that he's recovered, you know, fully restored. That they may see this as, uh, you know, the hand of God, you know, 
over him and healing him. And uh, yeah, I just want to get into a quick prayer, and I will post the link on the on the bottom of this video. Uh, please go watch Dana uh, Coverstone. Um, his video is very very interesting, and uh, it's definitely a message. And that's why I felt led to to uh, to share, you know, his his visions. And uh, yeah, um, so. Please like and uh, comment, subscribe, share the video, uh, this video, and just you know tr try to reach the message. I mean, try to spread the message. Sorry. Um, so again, let's uh, end this with uh, prayer. So, Lord God Almighty, Lord, as you have blessed your people, Lord, as you have protected them, Lord, in the days of old, Lord, may you keep us, Lord. May you help us to walk, Lord, in your past, Lord. And all the ways that are, you know, right before your eyes, Lord God Almighty. Ways that uh, keep us safe. You know, bless us, Lord. Reward us, Lord. And uh, just be with our family, Lord. We pray, Lord, for, you know, your hand to be over my uncle, Lord. To be over any of those who are sick, Lord. Any of those who may need healing, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord. For we know nothing is impossible, Lord, with you, Lord. We know we have mustard side seed, uh, mustard <laughs> side seed faith, and uh, we need to just pray to you, Lord. And uh, I know you quite a few times you became, you know, a little bit upset with the uh, your disciples, Lord, when they when they lacked faith, Lord. Um, so we need to have faith that these things will happen, that you will keep us healthy, Lord, from this COVID-19, Lord, and our families, Lord, healthy as well, and, um, and that your people, Lord, are truly protected, Lord, and, and, um, are just, just overwhelmed, Lord, by your presence, Lord, we want you, Lord, and we seek you, Lord, to be with us, Lord, and we know that we cannot reach the Father, but we must go through Jesus, was our mediator, a mediator for us, and we thank you, Lord Jesus. And um, it is in your name that we pray, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. All right, you guys, thank you for watching.